Hi. All right, we are outside because it is gorgeous and we are talking about DaVinci Resolve. Ignore the sun, I'm sure it will be doing its own thing. I wanna talk about 10 videos that I think will change the way you think about DaVinci Resolve. These are not in any special order, they come from a variety of counts and the individual view counts of the videos range from 1,000 to almost 200,000. Odds are pretty good, you've seen none of them. So let's get started. First up is a great video from the Pirates of Confusion channel. This is an absolutely amazing channel and this specific video I wanna talk about is this tutorial creating amazing cinematic titles. The specific example he calls out is the title from the Cobra Kai series, but especially in the demonstrations he shows, he shows off a variety of styles and effects and all of them look amazing. It's not just good text, he goes the extra mile and builds these like faux 3D scenes with lots of effects piled on top of each other. His no tree gets absolutely intense, uh, but it's really an amazing video. I think this is an example of really, really high quality work and just showing off what's possible in Resolve Infusion. Quick note, this video and some other videos uh, take place mostly in the standalone Fusion version, but there are very, very few things that you can do in the standalone Fusion that you can't in Resolve. And bonus, if you have Resolve Studio, you have full access to the standalone Fusion Studio as well. When Blackmagic bought Fusion and brought it into Resolve, it already had this long history. We're gonna get into that a little bit more later, but just know that if you see something for Fusion from pretty much however long ago, it probably works great in Resolve now. If you are likely to have seen any of these videos, uh, this one is probably the most likely. It's a video from JRTV an amazing Resolve creator, still doing tons of stuff today. But the specific video I wanna point you towards is his tutorial for making a 3D map with NASA data. I found this one early on and it's it's such a phenomenal effect. You actually pull in this map data that you can use to uh, deform a image of that same map so you get accurate terrain. It's very cool. And it's a great way to show off advanced systems in an approachable way. This next tutorial is the least viewed video on this list and that is recreating this amazing rain of arrows effect entirely inside Fusion. Now, I recently made a video recreating the iconic uh, DVD logo bouncing around the screen effect, and believe it or not, the main tool we use to create that effect is the same tool that Chetel Gazdar used in this video to create this rain of arrows. We're using particles in very cool ways, tying them to 3D objects, and the results are really cool. Next, we are moving a little bit outside of the standard visual effects or motion graphics niche because we are talking about 3D compositing. Inlight VFX has this amazing video where he walks through his entire process where he created a 3D scene in Blender and then he walks through bringing that into Fusion and compositing it into the scene and it looks very good. He talks about workflow and color and a lot of things at a really, really high, I think, professional level. So this isn't on the list really as a tutorial that you could load up and resolve and just walk through. But the way he demonstrates his entire workflow is really inspiring and definitely opens a door for me for what's possible inside Resolve. Next is a video from Learn Now Effects, creating this amazing rain effect. Of course, this is recreating an amazing effect that Andrew Kramer at Video Copilot did. And it's an effect I had tried to recreate in Fusion, but Learn Now Effects brings in a few external tools. So this is really an amazing video for that approach as well. And then just walking through the process, you are left with this finished product that just looks really clean, really professional. And that is a reason this video made the list because he does talk about some of these external tools and that is an entire world of its own. So this is a great approachable spot to dive into that world as well. Next is the video for Milo Lab. It's just amazing looking 3D text. I feel like a lot of people start messing around, they create a 3D text, maybe they texture it a bit. This is an amazing example of going the extra mile to make a uh, finished product that feels complete and that looks amazing. Next, we have a video from Simon Ubsdell. Simon has done tons of amazing stuff, but in this video, he dives into custom particles. The particle system in Resolve is wild, it's very complicated. And then on top of all of the systems, it gives you this node, P Custom, where you can just take all of that to the next level. I used one system of that in my recent DVD bouncing logo, and I used this exact approach a while ago in my 3D hologram effect. I'm messing around before that tutorial, I made this really cool effect where I took a Star Wars trailer and used this tutorial to modify it, to put it in 3D space, in particles, and it juts out, it's in 3D. It's very cool. There are tons of reasons to dive into custom particles but especially if you are interested in any uh, hologram imagery or sci-fi, UI, all of that, there's tons of opportunity. And I would use this video as a foundational layer to uh, exploring new innovative ways to use particles. 
Next, we gotta talk about Tony. Now I am a little scared to mispronounce Tony's last name, so I'm not gonna try. Tony has literally written the book on some of this stuff. I believe he's been involved in several of the manuals in Resolve. I don't know how closely he works with black magic design ongoing, but needless to say, he knows his stuff. And I'm cheating a little bit uh, because in this spot is two videos. The first one is another amazing text effect where he creates this sort of like dot matrix, like pixel looking text effect. The texture he manages to put into this, it's very, very cool. As you might be able to tell, I really like text effects. There are a few of them on this list and all of them are really cool, but all of them uh, touch on new, interesting ways of doing things inside Fusion. And then the second video I wanna slide in here um, is an extended motion graphic breakdown he does with another um, amazing artist walking through what's really possible with a, a sort of more traditional motion graphics uh, animation approach. When I first got into Resolve, I thought Fusion was going to be primarily a compositor and I have barely used it for compositing at all. I still think that's probably an amazing strength of it, but there's a lot that can be done with motion graphics and Resolve and this walkthrough is an amazing showcase of some of that. And finally, this last video, it's also not a tutorial, but it's very cool. This video is from eight years Years ago. This is back when Fusion was its own thing owned by Ion Software. And this video is actually on the official Ion Software YouTube page, which hasn't posted anything since Blackmagic bought Fusion. But this is an amazing video of how Fusion was used in Hollywood on the film Anonymous. It came out in 2011. It's this behind the scenes story of Shakespeare and that's all very cool. But some of the stuff shown off in this video is very exciting. And now all of these tools are in this free program you can download. But there is one specific section where the presenter goes through through this custom tool they created entirely inside Fusion to generate water that they use in the scene and it has this displacement and it looks amazing and all these custom controls. And this was honestly a sort of catalyst for me. I've made presets and templates that I package up and people can use those on the edit page, but this video really showed me that there is so much opportunity for taking a lot of the tools that exist inside Fusion, combining them, packaging them up, adding custom uh, labels and controls to create new powerful, complex tools tools that you can use to solve very specific problems for you. I've wanted to circle back and do my best to sort of recreate this like water engine that they made. I've, I explored it a little bit. I might dive in again uh, soon, but for now, that's the video. <laughs> I wanted to show you these videos, one, because they are very cool. Some of them are very entertaining, but mostly because, like I said, I think they really expand the scope of what you can do in Resolve and specifically Fusion. I hope you check them out. I hope you think they are as cool as I do. If you have any other hidden gem videos you think I should check out, leave them in the comments. I will absolutely watch those. But that's all. Go watch these very talented people do all their stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.